Hey guys, it's Whitney. I wanted to show you how to use the Door Hanger Pro to transfer any month into your journal. So this tool, if you haven't seen it already, it shows you exactly how to split your pages up. And so of course, if you're transferring a monthly spread, you're gonna do, wanna do seven equal sections for the days of the month. But I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do March, how to do April, and how to do May in your journal. So I do want to do March 2018 here. So if I look at the regular calendar, I see that it starts on a Thursday and ends on a Saturday. And there are actually five separate weeks here. Um, so depending on if you start your weeks on Monday, like I do in the journal, or on Sunday, it really doesn't matter here. I am going to do the five weeks and then the seven days. So this is gonna be a five by seven. So this is going to be a horizontal calendar. So if I'm gonna turn it like this, I'm gonna see it normally. If I turn it like this, the, month, the days are actually gonna go down the side instead of across the top. Um, just so there's a little bit extra writing room when you're writing in your journal. Um, so if you're looking at the pro, you see that we want to do seven separate equal sections since I'm doing the days down the side. So I'm going to look at the 1 7th line here and look at reference row F. So this first row here is to look at the side reference and then the second row is actually these here. So I just grab my pencil. In the lectern you line it up with the middle of the top square and the middle of the bottom square, the bottom and top numbers. And then we're gonna look at reference row F and I'm just doing it in pencil right now, but I'm wanting a five by seven grid because of the five weeks and the seven days. And there's also a way to do this if you don't have the Door Hanger Pro. You can use the Journal Companion on my site and it actually shows you where these numbers, if you numbered down the side of your page, where the actual lines would go, what numbers they would be. By the way, the journal companion looks like this. A lot of you have seen it. A lot of you are unfamiliar, have never seen anything like this. So if you, if you numbered these down the side, one through five, and you look at F, the row F, they're the same on the door hanger. So this is free at the website. Um, the first spot is gonna be 5.4. So when I number down the side, it's actually right about 5.4. So that just makes it even. The next spot is gonna be 10.9. So if you go down, this is gonna be the 10.9. So if you don't have the Door Hugger Pro, don't worry about it right now. You can just use the free journal companion pack and write your numbers down the side or across, which these are the numbers for the width of the journal. And I can make you a custom one also if you don't have the same size journal. If you don't have the lectern or scribbles, which are included, I can make you a custom size if you do have different dimensions. So what we're gonna do now is split into the five equal sections across. So we're gonna look at the one-fifth here and we're gonna look at the K letter here. So this slips either under the top or the bottom. I have a little bit more room for you guys to see if I slip it under here. Again, I'm just going to line it up with the middle dot there and find the K. And these ship in two packs, so you will get two of them so you can do this. <laughs> use this as a little ruler while this one's still lined up. It lines up perfectly here and then just go to each K. And the numbers are color coded and they are in a straight line so you can look at this K and find the next K. Okay so our grid is already there. Um, you could have done this in pen if you wanted to go ahead and commit but I actually want to measure it out so it's perfect. So I do have, I do start my months in my journal on Mondays. So I'm going to look and see when the month starts. It's actually on a Thursday. So I know this is going to be my Monday, Tuesday. I'm just making little notes for later when I actually measure it out. This is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I know it's going to start on a Thursday. So here's going to be my first day. So this is this part's actually going to be blank. It's going to be the previous month. Also going to look at the last day of the month is going to be the 31st, which is a Saturday. 
So we know it's going to be this last column, and so this one will kind of be just the first of April. So now I can actually use my pen. This is the Tombow Mono drawing pen. This is the point uh, five millimeter. I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to do it for all of them except this last one will be shorter because I am going to leave it blank. And I know it's going to stop at this point because there's not going to be anything here. Of course you can make it a grid, make the full thing a grid if you want to. But I'm just going to stop there and we can put a little sticker or picture or quote. So I also know this is going to be the first is on a Thursday right over that pencil mark I just made. All right, so there is our blank grid for March. Okay, so I've got my Scribbles That Matter Pro journal here. This is actually my food journal. I am going to track a workout program here, so I'm going to draw April and May on these different calendars so I can use it just to X off the certain days. So this will look different than the last calendar we did. And if you do start your week on Monday like me and you're looking at a real calendar and you're like, well, there's five weeks here, but actually this one's thrown in. Um, if you look online, there's all kind of 2018 Monday start calendar. So if you Google that, you can actually see a picture and see actually kind of what you're working towards. So this is going to be six tall, and in the Scribbles That Matter journals, the one's actually going to line up to this top dot, and then the bottom number's going to line up to the bottom dot. Um, and we're wanting to split it into six down, and we're going to do seven across, just like a normal month. And then we're going to do seven across. So we're going to look at this and say how many pages, how many, how do I want to split my pages? And we're going to do one seventh and we're going to look at the M here on the horizontal part. So I'm going to line it up right in the, on the bottom. If you're not sure if it's centered because if you have a different size journal, you can easily just slightly, I know we don't like bending our pages, but you can slightly kind of crease and find the exact middle here and line that up with this one with the most because that's the actual halfway point that it should be. So just line that up with the very middle crease that you just did. So I am looking at M, the M's here, for seven days. Okay, so now we have our boxes across. Um, and our six weeks down, we know this month starts on a Sunday. So Sunday is going to be over here for us. If you are starting on Monday like me. So now we're just going to trace over with the pen. And I know I'm just coming down to this last one because there's no more days here. pencil lines are there just to be a good little guideline. You really draw the lines however you want to, whatever order you want to. I'm just trying to make a little outline before I start the full thing. It's going to be the horizontal at the bottom. So this is a little good spot for maybe a header here if you want, maybe some notes down here. Um, but I will show you also how to do a sideways calendar if you want to flip your pages and look at it like a normal calendar. So if I look at a normal calendar, this is May's and it starts on a Tuesday and ends on a Thursday. So it'll be the same whether you're starting your days on a Monday or a Sunday. So this will be normal. So it is gonna be one, two, three, four, five tall and seven across. So this is also going to look at your five by seven. And the seven will be down the side because it's gonna be horizontal. The days are gonna go across. So we line it up again, top to the top dot, bottom to the bottom dot. And we're going to be looking at 1 7th, which is F. 
It is going to read like this, Monday through Sunday. And I said we're gonna do five weeks, so we're gonna look at the K column here. Okay, so now we're just gonna turn it over to the side since that's where, how we're gonna be looking at it. Um, ask ourselves, we are gonna label this kinda for later. And it starts on a Tuesday, so we know that will be the first. So that line will be there, this one will be here. And then it ends on a Thursday, so Thursday will be the 31st. Okay, so now this is for May. If you do put your days across the top, then it reads like a normal calendar. So that's the most normal looking calendar we drew. All right, I know the grid is just a little bit boring, so I am gonna flip over and actually decorate these calendars so you can kind of see what the final product looks like. I know I've showed you guys this before, but this is, when I'm picking my colors, I like to look at this chart. Because I do have all these colors here, and this is the Tombow, all, of, all 96 colors. And I have them in a grid, so I like to pick out which one I want. <laughs> so I'm going to start April with this Rhodamine Red. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? Um, this is number 725, and I'm just going to draw the little headers here. And I'm using this as a workout tracker, so on the certain days of my workouts, I'm gonna actually write which ones I need to do and X them off when I get finished. So I'm gonna keep it kind of simple right now. So this is April, and now I'm going to do May. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, since there's a little bit more room down here, I'm going to do the header down here. There's May. And I know I'm doing them out of order, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up March too in the other journal. March, of course, we'll do green for St. Patty's. I'm just gonna put it down the side here. And I actually drew my March layout that's on the website. I actually drew it in the live draw. And it's a little bit different, but the calendar style is the same, but I will show you since I haven't sent the winner her prize yet. So this is what we drew in live draw the last one. This was 12. This is the same kind of style layout, but it's a little more squished here. And there's these little sections are for the daily dues or like laundry or, or work day, um, certain things that I do every week on the same day. So that's what those sections are for. So now we have three different style calendars that I showed you how to draw with the Door Hanger Pro. This is the March. This is the vertical kind of strange calendar that you normally wouldn't see. <laughs> Completely different, um, but it just shows the days in a, or a vertical fashion instead of the horizontal like you're used to. Um, so we also have the April, which is more of a normal style calendar if you are holding your book like this. And we also have the May style that is the most normal looking um, just across the side, but you do have to turn your calendar if you want to look at it like a normal calendar. All right, I hope this cleared up any questions you had about transferring any monthly spreads to your journal. The Door Hanger Pro certainly comes in handy when you're trying to split those pages up just into equal sections. And you know you're always looking at the 1 7th column um, and then you're going to be either looking at the four, five, or six column, depending on the month. Um, so it's a lot easier to look if you look at a calendar. So if you enjoyed that, please consider attending one of my live sessions. They are in my Facebook group, which I'll link below. Uh, we do it every other week, and I let you vote on what we're going to draw every time. So, and I always give away the journal that I'm using. So this, this past one, we did do the March layout. It was our first monthly spread we drew and this is actually going to go to one of the attendees that was there so please come say hey 
If you do like this video, please subscribe and click thumbs up down below. I do truly appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.